Church on the Hill, this is John, once again inviting you to today's Fireside Chat. It is led by Don Scott, and Don shares about overcoming worry and leads us in the Lord's Prayer. Don't forget that this evening we'll be hosting Name That Tune at 7 p.m. To play, join the Zoom call with the details on the screen, or you can simply watch on Facebook or YouTube Live. And again, that's at 7 p.m. Then we'll host our weekday prayer call at 8.19 p.m. The details are on the screen and on our website. Begin now inviting your friends to join us online live this Sunday morning at 11 a.m. for our worship service together. And as always, God bless you, I love you, and I hope to see you soon. Good morning, Church on the Hill family. I just wanted to come to you today and talk to you a little bit about not worrying and what the Bible has to say. But let's open in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this glorious day that you have brought us to. Another day that we can become closer to you and share your word and serve you. Father, in these times of stress and worry, we know that we are to bring this all to you and put it at your feet. Lord, we know that you will never forsake us nor leave us. God, I'm asking you to put a hedge of protection around all that are working in essential services today and every day, healthcare workers, law enforcement, fire, the truck drivers, the grocery workers, and any that I may have forgotten, Lord. Just keep a hedge of protection around all of them. And those that have to travel to work, Lord, I ask for a heavy protection around all of them as well. In your name, Father, I pray these things. First today, I want to read to you from Matthew 6, 25 to 34, all about worry. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. They do not sow, oops, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you be worrying at a single life, hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like they are. If this is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow, is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? the pagans run after all these things your, and your heavenly father knows you need them but seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and all of these things will be given to you as well therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own and I'd like to read from Psalm 94 verse 19 When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. Let's pray the prayer that we've all been taught together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For, Lord, thine is the power, the glory, and the kingdom, forever and ever. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Can't wait to see you all.